Hello fellow model kit builders. So I decided to get one more set of these nippers uh, because other people rated them pretty well on YouTube. But what I'm trying to find is a single blade nipper that actually cuts flush with the actual part. I think all of them are flawed by design, but we're going to find out about this one. So this is by Despay. It's the latest and greatest, I think, ST-A 3.0. Uh, forged steel, hardness rating, pretty decent. Uh, okay, shrink wrap, there's a serial number. A bunch of legal schmeagle stuff. Okay, nice box. Very classy packaging from this brand, it seems, as usual. I can't remember. I bought this online. I just don't remember where from, but... Obviously, you can buy these things pretty much anywhere. They sell you know, hobby stuff, Gundam kits and, and the like. Look at this, it's got a sleeve. It does seem really wasteful to put a, this box inside of another box inside of another box, right? I mean, it's nice to have classy packaging, but it's just, you're buying garbage, basically. You're buying cardboard to throw away. All right, so thank you for choosing our products. And as typical for premium nippers, you get this little blade cover thing, which I debate if I'm going to use. I'm kind of lazy, but it does have a little snap to it. I guess if you travel and do like Gundam build-offs or something, maybe it'd be nice to have. There's some sort of stuff in this box. So there's a wiper, wiping uh, cloth, which is pretty classy. Not sure if I'll use it for these, but uh, I could use these to wipe down my, my die-cast models or something. Or if you wear glasses. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Microfiber suede kind of thing. Very cool. And then, let's see, some instructions. <clears throat> what I do like about this brand is how they promoted it. They specifically say they're designed to have a flat surface that's actually not uh, in line with the, the cutting blade. So I think this image here, oh well, let's just go to the English side, that makes life a little easier, right? So the blade, the blunt end. Uh, this is stuff that was not explained on the god hands, so I modified my god hands to become different. Why the blade and blunt end are not on the same level, this is what was not explained to me before. And the reason why is because eventually the blade will go underneath the blunt end and not cut properly but if the blade dead ends in the middle of the blunt end it can't go underneath or above the blunt end so that's the explanation as to why it, this is designed this way and also why the god hand is designed that way and also why the nanye i reviewed is designed that way okay so how to use it correctly blade edge gates yeah you cut far away and then you cut the, the secondary cut and it seems that you want to have the blunt end on the far away section and the blade edge scraping the piece of plastic. So that's properly explained, which the other brands do not do. Uh, so that's good. Cut perpendicular to the gate. That makes sense. For things placed in the middle, well, you don't have much choice. So this is the problem I ran into the other ones. You're always going to have a little bit of a nib behind because you have the blunt end at a different level than the sharp edge and <clears throat> a plastic flow channel. You want to just cut perpendicular, not at an angle. Runners, cut perpendicular. Okay. So, this is the best set of instructions. One would think there wouldn't be a need for instructions, but for me, I found it useful. Now I understand why the thing is designed the way it is. Right. <coughs> so now it comes in a really fancy plastic box. Which again for me just seems like I'm throwing away this box that I just bought. It has magnets too. You know this box is so nice maybe I will keep it but I'll just get rid of this and just use it to store uh, extra parts of something or another. Okay. And then there is a little tool, a hex tool, to uh, mess with the the stopper. This is the the overextension stop. I want to leave it alone. I don't want to mess with that thing at all. Then there's a anodized 
green spring inside of this thing. And then we have some laser etching here of the model number and probably a serial number or something like that. The grip is, uh, you know, rubberized. It's quite uh, grippy for sure. Um, and then, yes, I guess that's forged steel, so that should be quite strong. This little thing here is to keep the thing from springing too far open, and that spring will fly out if it, was, if it wasn't stopped by that. So you don't want to mess with that thing either. Okay, so now looking at this, now I know that it's supposed to have a ledge here in the bottom. Um, boy, hold on, this is going to be really hard. Alright. Against my finger. Hopefully you can see this ledge. Um, it's not very highly pronounced. Here are the Nanya Clippers I reviewed last. This one has a much more pronounced ledge. So, See, on this you can see a lot more of the blunt blade. It's, it's quite significant, maybe half a millimeter. This, this blunt blade is not sticking too far away from the actual cutting edge. So I already know this will probably cut better than the Nanyes. Granted, the Nanyes are quite inexpensive. And so here are the modified god hands I had. It did have that, that blunt thing, but I didn't know. So I took a diamond file and I filed this whole thing to be one surface. So you really can't see any part of the second blunt edge. So this cuts very flush. But in theory, this sharp cutting edge could theoretically bend below the blunt the blunt side all right so i wouldn't be surprised if i break these relatively soon if i get too too uh, casual and forceful with my cutting habits but these two i'm not gonna i'm not gonna modify so they should probably stay good for a while but yeah you can really see that blunt edge there all right but on this one it's it's definitely less pronounced all right, so let's get into some cutting here. <clears throat> uh, let me get a different angle here. I'm gonna cut identical parts here. So we have some, uh, these two halves are identical. I already pre-cut them with my Tamiya cutters, the double-sided Tamiya cutters. So I'm gonna do this one with the display ones. So it's saying put the blunt edge on the bottom of this in the sharp edge in line or f on the surface there there was a snapping sound and but boy that's pretty smooth and it's pretty close look at that that is very close to that surface it didn't leave much material behind this one is not even going to be visible but that one doesn't even matter, but it's pretty flush. But this one is on a curve, so I'm going to cut it this way and see what happens. Hmm, they left some material behind there. Let's see if I can get in again. Hmm, no, no. Alright, so that first cut was impressive. This is a curved surface, so I'm not sure. So let's compare this now to these Nanyes, which we know the, the ledge here on the blunt end is quite high. So we'll start again with the, the flush surface. And I will put the blunt end. Uh, might not be possible. No, the way this thing is shaped, I don't have a choice. Uh, but there is a sweet spot here. If you look at this. I want to try to cut right around there in the blade, not not by the tip because that's way too far. But right here, it's generally flush. So let's see what happens. That's as far in as I can get it. Not much of a snapping sound, and it did cut pretty flush. Let me cut the other one first, and we'll compare the two. So now on this curve, I'm probably going to cut somewhere around there. And Okay, so Nanye is here, and this bay over here. You can see, well I can see for sure, that this bay is much better as far as the, the cut goes on this flat surface. Granted it was oriented in the proper position, but this is much lower. That's raised, it's also torn a bit. 
I didn't even bother with that one. But this curved surface one now, this is the Nanye and the Despair, I think. Let me make sure. No, sorry, this is the Despair. I gotta keep it on this side. <clears throat> so the Despair uh, left a little bit. Ah, oh, boy, sorry. But yeah, the Nanye, it definitely tore it. It's, you can see a lot of the, the white stress mark there. So for this piece, I, I definitely think uh, the the display won out. Let's give it one more one more uh, comparison. So this time, I'm going to start with the Nanye, and I'm going to have the cut in the proper orientation like this. So the blunt end is far away, and it wants to be like this. And somewhere around there, See, that cut a lot better because I was cutting it in the proper dirt, way it should be done. This one. I see you cut a little too much material, but it's quite flush. Very good. I'm going to do one crosswise just, to, just for the heck of it because we already got two good cuts. Even that was not bad, although it did tear you know, the stress mark there. It tore the plastic a bit. All right, so that's going to be put down there. And let's do the display and the proper orientation would be this way. Yeah, that's pretty, no stress mark really. So that seems better. This one. Again, uh, very flush, almost no stress mark. And then we'll do this one again crosswise. But even so, much less stress. So again, comparing the two, the spay on the, the left, uh, they're not in the same place, the, the cuts that is. These two are, okay. So you can see the display is much cleaner, right? It's, it's almost uh, invisible, but here you can see the stress marks. So two tests and the displays are definitely better than these Nanyes but again these Nanyes are not bad considering how much they cost they're very cheap all right so that that part of the comparison is over I have to cut a few more pieces out and we're going to compare it to the modified god hands next well actually you know I do have two pieces already ready to go so let me just actually I have two sets ready to go my bad all right, modified god hands. We're gonna cut these two pieces. This spade will stay on the same left side. All right, now, because these are totally flush now, it, well, this is still the blunt side, so I guess I'll just hold it the way it's supposed to be according to this spade's instructions. Hmm. Yes, I had to cut it twice. This one's quite flush. Now that's very flush. Granted, the paint makes it look worse, but a little bit of a stress mark there. So that's that piece. This one I'm going to cut in this fashion. Put that right up against the surface. Okay, see that's very, very flush with that thin surface. This one I'm going to cut crosswise. Still pretty darn good. All right, and then this third one, I guess I'll just cut the proper way like this. All right, so not bad. All right, now that this space, we'll do this one as it should be like this. So that's just as good. We're gonna do the wrong way like this. That's still just as good. And then we'll do this last one the proper way again. All right, now this one, I cut this flush like this. That's very impressive. And this one will try to cut the proper way. Okay. Starting with these two uh, gray pieces. Again, this spades in my left hand. The modified god hands, I, I don't think it held it properly. It's, it's leaving a little too much material there on the left side. This one's pretty flush. 
Um, so these I feel like the displays are a little bit closer. See, there's a little bit of a nub here on the, the god hands. The, the, but that one is much less of a nub. So I say display one, that, that part. What about these parts? I think it's pretty much equal. Both of these cuts. They look equal to me. Although I guess if you want to be really nitpicky, there's more stress on the god hand lower cut. But there's, yeah, yeah, there's more stress on the god hand side, this side that is. And then here, yeah, I feel like uh, it's leaving too much plastic behind here, but on this side, the display side, not so much. Okay. So, two pieces for each, and it seems like display won out again over modified god hands. Okay, let's try to do something that's not recommended and actually cut parts directly off the sprues. Because let's face it, we're lazy. I'm lazy. I don't know about you, but I definitely am lazy. So I'm going to cut one, two, three parts directly off with the sprue, try to do a finish cut off of the sprue itself. Alright, so let's start with this one. So I'm going to try to just get that thing flush. Alright. Sorry if it goes out of focus, I'm not looking through the camera screen because I want to give it the best chance of getting it the, the giving it the best cut. So I'm just looking at it with my own eyes. But we'll look at them close up and uh, I will look through the camera screen then. So two, last part here. Okay. Alright, so the spay will still be on the left as usual, and then my modified god hands. Let's cut those same parts. Try to get this thing as flush in there as possible. Okay. I'm literally pushing both surfaces against that surface to try to get it flush as possible. Okay. Alright, so three identical parts. Let's take a look here. Let's start with the cylinder. Let's see if we try to put it together a little bit. Okay, so the the god hand part, it definitely uh, it tore the plastic a little bit and there's a little bit of a you know wedge. I feel like the displays are a little tighter, but still, there is a wedge there. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, I gotta hold it this way. Alright. So the god hands again. This is These are almost equal, actually, I would say. Yeah, it's, it's a wash, I think. A little bit more tearing here on the, the god hands. Okay. <clears throat> so now... So in this case, the displays tore it quite a bit, and actually I cut off too much material. The god hands, there's a, there's a bit of a ledge right here, I can feel it right there. There's no ledge at all on this, that's relatively smooth, the displays. Let's see about, uh, what was that last cut? Oh, here. So the god hands is tearing it a little bit, a ledge can hear it much much flush much more flush than this space so the display is one out by one cut on this one okay so both of them tore there's a little more tearing on the god hands but that feels pretty flush that feels pretty flush too yeah all right Hmm, I'm pretty even, I, I think, as far as the feel goes. This side here, did I do that right? Yeah, god hands are on 
this side. So. There's a ledge for the god hands, not so much on the displays. So the displays are actually cutting flush, even more flush, even though I sanded down the god hands. It's really strange to me. I would think that the god hands would perform better, but they're not. <coughs> So you'll have to go back to my review of these if you want to see how bad the ledge was, but I could feel it quite prominently, and that's by on purpose, by design. But even if after modifying this, though these are totally flush cutters, the cuts are still tighter with the, the displays it looks like, even though there actually is a lip you can feel here. When I run my fingernail across this for this dental pick, actually, I, yeah, hold on. See? That's literally scratching pla the plastic of the dental pick. So that's how much extra metal is sticking out from the surface, which should be left leaving that much plastic behind on the part, but it seems like it's still capable of cutting very flush, even with that uh, little bit of metal sticking below that surface. So that's very impressive. Okay. So take what you will from that. Um, I'm not going to buy more god hands. They're uh, twice as expensive as these. So I'm pretty sure even if these are in stock form that this spades would outperform them. So for me, I think uh, of these four premium nippers, you know, to me as are double-sided cutters, so they're just uh, by design they're going to stress out the plastic more than the single-sided cutter. So I'm using these to cut the main cuts. But the finishing cut, the Nanyes just are not as good, but the price reflects that. I think it's acceptable for some cheap cutters. The God Hands are simply overpriced and uh, do not perform as well as the Dispays. Uh, that's what I'm coming to conclude here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the grips are generally the same, it seems. As far as the width goes, yeah, they're almost identical in the geometry, it looks like, at least the, the handle geometry. And then the thickness of the blades, the god hands are actually thinner, but mine were filed down a little bit, so they might be thinner than usual. I will say that the stop here on the god hand is a solid pin, whereas this one's like a hollow, hollow pin. Doesn't It's just more cosmetic than functional. It looks like the actual hinge of the display is much bigger. This circle, look at the circle on the god hand, it's smaller. Probably not a big problem though for when you're cutting little plastic nubs. They both have stops. The god hands also look like they're forged steel. Alright, well, thank you for watching today. Uh, I'm, a, I'm not a professional modeler, guys, but uh, from my crude sense of uh, cutting skills, again, uh, I'm gonna if I, I would go with the displays. Okay, see ya guys. Thanks for watching.